Hello and welcome to my first drawing tutorial. Um, my name is Laura, I am an artist and illustrator. Um, this is me, I couldn't find a better picture, but this is me after Arthur did some face painting. So today I've been massively inspired by the drawing tutorials by Rob Biddulph and he has done some awesome illustrations um, from some of his children's books. Um, I have had a request to ha learn how to draw a unicorn from one of my friends. So we're going to draw this, this one today. And what you need for this tutorial is a penny, uh, a squash bottle lid, pencil and some colouring pencils. Okay. Um, we're going to get started. So in approximately the centre of your paper, I want you to draw around the penny. And remember, you can stop and start this video if, every, if you need to, to catch up. Okay. And I always draw really lightly with my pencil so that I can make changes afterwards. So hopefully you can see the marks I'm making. The next is to draw around your bottle lid and you draw around that next to your penny circle. Okay? So we've got two circles just there. Then we need to put in a little finger space and we're going to put another circle just here. This is going to be the shoulder of our unicorn. Okay? And then another finger space and another circle again. So this is what we should be left with. Three big circles and a little circle. Okay. So now we're going to look at starting to draw in the shape of our unicorn using our circles as a guide. Okay, so we're going to look at starting to do the nose. I'm going to put one line joining up there and then underneath his nose, another little line there, okay. Then we're going to pop in another line for the neck, coming around our circle that we've popped there. And then down the back where we're going to put our main line going over there, okay. Popping our tummy in, joining up these two circles together. Now we're going to pop in our legs. So our legs are effectively two kind of long rectangles. Just a slightly wider at the end. And again, remember, press really lightly with your pencil. And then the other leg, which is kind of peeping out behind, so it gives the idea that it's yeah, standing up there. This is going to if we come round the bottom, the back legs have a funny kind of zigzaggy shape going on. Okay, so we just need to pop in this other back leg here now as well. And I'm making sure it's roughly the same length as this other back leg. Okay. So now we're ready for some other important features. So we need to pop in an ear. I'm going to go back up to the top circle here and pop in a little, a little ear shape, kind of like a teardrop shape. Okay. I'm going to pop in our mane and our forelock. So you can kind of do this how you like, but I like to kind of have it a little bit sort of scruffy. And then our mane comes in kind of teardrop shapes, falling down our neck, like that. Um, our little nostril now, so a little mark there for the nose. Okay. And I like doing that eyes so that they are this one. It's my eyelashes. It's a very simple eye, but it works really well for a unicorn. And four little eyelashes, okay. And now using our bottom circle here, that gives us a really nice little point for a, a nice little smile. 
big, big thing we need to put on for the unicorn. We need that horn poking out from underneath here, behind that fetlock. Okay. And then we need to do our tail as well. Okay. I'm happy with that as an outline of my unicorn. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to go over the lines that I want to keep in um, a black. I'm just trying to find my pen. So it doesn't matter desperately if you haven't got a black, but I like putting in, so. And coming around the bottom. Now I'm not going to go over these lines here because we're going to rub those out in a minute and we won't we don't need those anymore. So I'm only going over the lines that I want to keep. I might even put some glitter on the unicorn's horn. Right, and I'm not going to go over this line because my leg keeps coming down here. Oh, I've forgotten the hooves. So the hooves come in. It's a bit of a little slanted line across here. Okay, come down her back. Oh. My pen's running out, it's ideal. Okay. So I'm just going to grab my rubber. This might look like a lump of blue tack, but it's actually a gummy rubber. And very useful. So now I'm just going to pull out all of those pencil lines. Because I put them in so lightly at the start, they will all come away quite easily. So I don't need those anymore. I'm ready to start putting on some colour. You can paint or paint or draw or colour your unicorn however you like, but I do like a bit of rainbow. So I'm going to do my rainbow colours. I would really, really love to see your unicorns and how you decided to colour them. And also, if you have any ideas about other creatures, animals, anything at all really that you would quite like to learn how to draw, then let me know and I'll see if I can do another tutorial. So, I might make this bit go a little bit speedier in a minute.
and there we go as our finished unicorn I hope you've enjoyed it um, any feedback all gratefully received um, happy to do more tutorials and if there's anything different that you'd like to see then give me a shout thank you bye <laughs>